Hello everybody! Welcome back to this playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. Um, so we kind of took it down a notch in the last session. We lost Sid, unfortunately. And now we've taken on the identity of Sid. We're in a new hideaway. And now we got some sheet to do. If you need volunteers, just say the word. Now then, when it comes to the old What is this? What's, what's our Moogle doing here? You're wondering what this new board is behind me, aren't you? All in good time, my furless friend. Oh, okay, I didn't push any buttons. So we're not supposed to do that yet. That is going to be... Hunts, probably. Of some sort. Okay. Um. So there is a side quest to pick up, and then the main story to continue. Martha is a survivor. We'll find her. Right, right, right. That's what happened. Martha has gone missing. There was a fight that broke out at the inn, and through that kerfuffle, Martha disappeared. And no one seems to know where she is. Uh, okay. Let's go pick up that side quest. I have to go down the lift. Going down. Okay, oh, there it is. Finish with that long box, Sid. Damn blighty bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. But unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tet does our lemon tarts. Mm. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. All right. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's for certain. All right. Oh my god, are you kidding? If anybody caught the name of that side quest, it's a, a cock and ball. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay then. <laughs> um, <that's laughs> oh, good lord. Uh, okay, so that is there. Not the same place that we need to go for the main story, so let's do this first, real quick. Oh, we have to go around. Okay.
there. We should be able to cut through now, I think. Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. Over here! Got a level. Nice. Picture wax. Okay. I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time to head home. Okay, well, that was easy. us back up. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to be down on the docks. Finish with that long. Open back, Sid. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Like a chock of O's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. That's a fair bit of experience. Badge might. Ooh. Okay. Maybe that's something I should look at gear real quick. It's not something that I've done in a while. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay, we're starting to get into some cooldown reduction. Increases damage. Burning blade damage by 7%. Aerial combo damage. I want to keep my healing potency up.
Some of Pylos talk about Clive dealing damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. Abilities. Those are like ultimate moves, I think, of some sort. Um, let's do... Like that. Oh. And then... Let's head out. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Oh boy. That does not look good at all. What's going on there, my man? I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. The Imperials have already left. E. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. The boys from the garrison might still be near. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? I'm sorry. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Oh boy. That does not sound good. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Going here. Faster to go this way, I think. Uh, no. I'm wrong. Oi, look sharp! Hey. Jesus. Oh. Okay, we want to go... Get those horses to
Yes. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a little bit shorter. who needs you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Oh boy. It's a this one. Get him. All right. Apologies for the delay. Got kids making lunch. It's summer vacation now, so... Actually have to be a parent. What? Get him! This one! Sick him! I am so afraid of what we're gonna find here. Oh my god. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. God. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what are we gonna find inside? I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words! Have you no honor? Clive. 
This won't take long. Oh, let's get you bastards. I think so. Dual wind ether that having failed to dissipate on the battlefield has instead manifested into solid form, not unlike crystal, but with an elemental purity that renders it far more potent, if not specialized. Oh, okay. Gouge cooldown time by three seconds. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Oh boy. Uh, inside. No. Found no. Her. The abbot. The bearers died protecting him, calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The Cullings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sin's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sin! Where are you? Sin! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? Uh, probably not. He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. 
If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust to himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Oh, so their bodies literally crumble to dust. Ugh. That is a very depressing way to start this session. Ugh. I should really expect it by now. There's no happy ending. Uh, where am I going? Okay. boy. What do we got here? That's an Araman. Oh, they're hunts! They're hunts! Uh, five the... Oh! Okay! Every now and then Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Okay, that's what the Moogle is going to be dealing with, is hunts. Guaranteed. Okay. Well, we're it's a rank C, so we should be able to take this one, I think. The thing is spotted us, Toggle. What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball.
Got it. crap that's definitely post game stuff that's gonna be fun I love that sort of stuff used some items though so we better try that must to be the bridge. grab what we can 15 gil So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Okay. Well, let's head back.
Please let Martha be okay. Let's quick. They call themselves our countrymen. Replenish our supplies here. What are you after? Much obliged. Thanks very much. That all, is it? Yeah, that is all. Oh, thank God she's okay. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. Well, that was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. She is such a badass. I love her. Oh, we got a new side quest. Let's go pick that up. Ooh, what what does that marker mean? It's a side quest. It's green like a side quest, but it's got a different sort of marker, I think. Oi, you there. Don't just Are you handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? Are we gonna get to ride chocobos and not now? Just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were, too. And now, they're back, looking to settle the score. Oh, go on, then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. All right. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw them cut across the way over yonder. Rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me. Oh, 
white winged wonder. All right, well, I'm hoping that we'll get mounts after this, like a chocobo mount. Maybe? Maybe? That'd be great. White heart. That's quite a name for a chocobo. Looks like they went that way. Maybe she survived. Without a fight. Oh. Would they? Oh, the chokebos did that. Oh, there They're they are. Trouble. You coronet feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. It's off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Attention. Gotta pay attention. Thanks, Jill. Ooh, timing's off. Jeez, 
this. What's with my timing? Uh, wrong button. Oh, good lord. This one. Over here. Go for it. My timing was bad on that. You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? It's Ambrosia. That's Scar. It couldn't be. It's Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Quee! It is you. You survived. Of a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sort of the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well... I, um... Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you, and it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Oh, a 
barding. Yes, we get chocobos. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, white heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarm my cart on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Hmm. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me, silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Oh, finally something that's a little bit heartwarming. Oh, a bespoke saddle with blinders worn by Clive's childhood chocobo Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Que! Quoted by Ambrosia. Oh, 60 sharp fangs. Holy crap. Yay! How do we use our chocobo? After 18 long years, Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed. Hold R3 while in the field to summon Ambrosia and X to mount. R3. Okay. Well. <laughs> ah! Yes! I need to hear, I need to hear. There we go. Yes! I'm so happy! Return to the We just, I just want to run around for just a few minutes on chocobo this is amazing i love it uh the only thing i'm missing right now is the chocobo song it's, it's literally the only thing i wish was going on right now that would be epic uh, okay <laughs> that makes me so happy 